Everyone. Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV, my name is Alex, I'm outside Villa Park with Jacob. Jacob, just come a little bit closer to the lighting for me. Uh, I know you're excited, 3-1 uh, against Aston Villa. Uh, you know, a lot of fans, even when we drew in the home leg, weren't particularly disappointed because we were expected to lose. And it was much the same today. I know Villa lost against Newcastle in the league, but their home form... And their, their form generally under an I Emery has been nothing short of exceptional. So talk to me. I mean, how do you feel? I'm so happy we won. No, I'm, no, I'm so happy. No, let's, no, I'm not changing any of my views on the manager or the owner, but what this has just told me is we've got the good players. We've got the players. 100% think they have a good game. So I think that just shows that it's not under the players sometimes when we lose. Like these players, we've got so talented players. Gusto's on real today. Let's not talk about Madweke. Superb. This is what I want to see. This is literally what I want to see. Honestly, if I was to predict the game, I'd probably predict it literally the other way around. Yeah, but that's totally understandable. 100%. And I think oh, I'm just so happy we won. Long journey up here. We don't work too bad. I've got a long journey back. I've got, see, busy days tomorrow. So, and you know what? Well done to these players and well done to the manager. Honestly, Gusto, just do that. I'm not going to, I'm not talking about signing a new right back if you do what you did today. Yeah. Jackson, I, I didn't think it was too bad. I thought Jackson well, we, was... We, we played Jackson as a, as a left winger for the majority of the game and it seemed to suit him much better than it does when we play him up front. I think it was just before the AFCON. I actually, I looked at him and I thought, maybe he's a bit of a inverted winger. I think I had this little, I literally had a bit of an idea. You had an epiphany? I, yeah, yeah. I think I had a little bit of an idea, but played well today. I thought, great chances, brilliant on the break. But I think the star man today is Noni Madueke. Honestly, oh, just, I love watching you play. Yeah, not all the time it ended up being a goal. Not all the time it ended up being successful, but mate, the ball comes on that side, you mate. You're fighting for the ball, mate. You're fighting for the ball like something Sterling can't do. He's faster than Sterling. He's a better player than Sterling. Would you would you continue to start no. Madueke ahead of Sterling? Yeah, I mean, why would yeah? But why? I just was, Madueke needed a goal for his confidence after yeah. being so brilliant. Why did you just chuck Sterling on like? I'm not just blaming the manager today because I think there's a lot more positives than negatives. And I don't want to just dig into the manager. About Sterling. Sterling. But like, you look at it, right? I'm, like, I'm not going on a run about the manager today because we won. I thought the lineup was all right, but Sterling shouldn't have come on. But talking about the good football, Gusto. Oh, Gusto and Madweke today, brilliant. Enzo was good. So many positives today. What a free kick from Enzo. I actually missed it because I was in the concourse. Did you take your glasses off for that one? No, I was in the concourse. <laughs> I was eating a pie, which was bang average. So You need to stop going in the concourse early, Jacob, especially when we're winning. No, I went... No. Here we go. You're not wrong. Actually, I believe it or not, I missed two of the goals. Because the first still goal was actually sick. I had some some sore throat. So. But, like, what's all, mate? the football was so good. And look, mate... We can all talk about, yeah, maybe there was times when the players weren't in the box enough. And that it weren't perfect, let's just say that. But, still good. If we do eight things right and two things wrong, still a good performance. Yeah, so, yeah. here we go. Here we go. And honestly, where's your famous atmosphere? Like, I knew, know you're losing 3-1, but come on. I mean, that was just a library in there. I was just comedic. And then people at 78 minutes start walking off. I don't think 78 minutes at home... And if we were in that situation where we were like doing really well in the league, do you think we're going 12 minutes? We've had the time 16 minutes early. Nah. I mean, I no, we would. Maybe. Yeah, I suppose you can understand some of the fans maybe need to get home. It's quite a late kickoff, yeah. so I'll give I'll give them half benefit of, them, of the doubt. Half of them live around here because. But I mean, Jacob, you still got to rub it in, mate. I still got to rub it in, and you know what? I've gone through so much as a Chelsea fan. Yeah, it's it's. This season's been no short of the pressing. And when we win, it makes me so happy. Look at Jay, who um, was on the last fan camp. Just seeing him happy after he's always... It looks like he's sad. And seeing other fans happy, man, is so good. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think football's got an emotional side to it. It does. As much as about, for some people, it's about winning or losing, but actually, it's about, it's a sport, it's about enjoyment, and it's about supporting your club and having a good time. And after losing, it doesn't look like the players are trying, it's really frustrating, but now we go and win, and the fans are happy, and I think that's the best part today. Everyone's in a good mood. Absolutely. I'm tired of having the same fan camp every week, just moaning about the manager. Yeah, I don't like the manager at all. That doesn't change, but I just like being happy on the channel because I think I don't want to, on social media, put myself as a depressing person because I'm actually a really positive person. But you guys probably don't see that because oh, it's moaning at football. Yeah, well, you're, the you're, next, not seeing, you're not seeing great football, so it's, no, no. it's understandable. Today was good. Yeah. Listen, I don't think it was perfect. And I'm not going to say it was, but we won 3-1 against Villa. I'm really like, I mean, they 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 can do their 20 minute walk down the corridor or down the street, whatever, in well probably misery, and then we're sink, sat in here doing fine cows in a real good mood. So get it, get it. I'm, I'm proper happy now. I'm proper happy. I'm pro no, what going into the rest of the season? Yeah, it'll probably still be just as bad as it was last game. But you know what? Why do we have to think about that now? Do we think about that whenever? Ideally, as late as possible. Yeah. Well, listen, Jacob, always a pleasure, my friend. And it's good to see you smiling. Yes. Cheers, mate. Subscribe. Oh, Chill, subscribe. <laughs>